An inquiry is underway into the release of thousands of litres of liquid from a coal seam gas well near Campbelltown. Gas company AGL has admitted the release from the Sugarloaf gas well should not have happened, but says it posed no health risk. The unidentified liquid poured out of the well at AGL's coal seam gas field last week, prompting questions in Parliament and an inquiry led by the government's Office of the Environment. But AGL says there was no risk from the maintenance procedure using soap, water and sand. It shouldn't have happened. AGL takes its environmental and safety responsibilities very seriously and that's why we informed the EPA, the Department of Industry and Investment, um, we're doing our own internal investigation into why this happened and we've also sent soil and water samples from the site off to a laboratory for independent assessment. The company says the well has never been fracked using toxic chemicals and the spill happened during maintenance to clean kilometres of pipes. Because AGL took two days to report it to the EPA, no one can be sure what came out of that well. And this is the problem with this industry. I mean, it's an absolute joke that the... That the gas companies are allowed to self-report. This canal that runs close to the gas well carries drinking water to Prospect Reservoir and investigators are now looking at whether Sydney's water supply was polluted in the accident. The Greens want a two-month moratorium on gas exploration extended and a ban on coal seam gas production in the Sydney basin. We've got communities, drinking water catchments, and valuable farming land that this industry is going to impact on. And residents of southwest Sydney say they'll fight AGL's application to drill another 70 coal seam gas wells. John Hill, 10 News.